Welcome to the workshop. Hi, I've just shot the ends of these two components, nice and square and true, and I'm going to show you how to hand cut a bridle joint, also known as an open mortise and tenon. That will connect these two at right angles with a tenon on this piece sitting right through the middle of the other piece. And it'll be the mortise will be open on this end. I've selected a mortise chisel which is approximately one third the width of the material I'm working in and I've set my mortise gauge to the same width as the mortising chisel. I'm going to mark off the width of the one component against the length of the other and similarly the other way around. And if I quickly square around those pencil marks, I'll know how long to mark out for with the mortise gauge. With the mortising gauge offset, set to put the pins in the centre of our component, we can now mark the widths. And if I run a pencil down that, you'll be able to see what I've done. So on this piece I'm going to be removing the mortise and on the other edge from my squared round lines. On the second component we need to prepare a tenon. Once again marking from the, the face side along the edges And so here I'm going to be removing the material on the outside. In order to get crisp shoulders, I'm now going to replace my pencil line with a knife line. And this is just on the component that's having a tenon on it. Because obviously where the line is, uh, where we're cutting the, the open mortise we're not going to be removing that material so we don't want to leave a knife line behind. On the component where we're forming the mortise I can knife the line just at the bottom of where the mortise is going to be and that will provide a reference for my mortising chisel a little later on. Now with the chisel I can create a little groove for my saw to sit in. Now we can pop these in the vise and make the saw cuts. Now sawing the cheeks is quite simple. Um, stay on the waist side of the line. And then we can clean out the bottom of this with the mortise chisel. Now chopping the mortise to final depth. Flip it over and finish from this side. Now we check the tenon for fit and we see it's, it's very tight. Now I just use a router plane very quickly to bring the tenon cheeks down to the scribed line. You can attempt to saw precisely to the line if you like, but if you've got a router plane it's very quick to finish it off this way and you don't risk sawing too much off. Now I can clean up the shoulders, a bit of pressure up to the tenon and remove the waste. 
Of course you can use a shoulder plane for this if you like. But on a small component like this, I find it easier to control and register a, uh, a chisel blade. And it does a wonderful job. If the cheeks inside your mortise aren't perfectly flat, you won't get a good joint. If you line up the knife lines with the front and back jaws of your vise, and then use the vise as a reference for your chisel, you can clean those inside faces and produce a lovely flat surface. Pretty soon your pieces will go together relatively easily, but snug enough so they don't fall apart. And that's the time when you need to apply glue to the inside faces of the mortise and on the tenon, put them together and clamp across the faces. Glue up using the offcuts from the tenon as packing pieces to prevent marring your work. And once that's dry, we'll flush the edges with a plane and I'll show you the result. And there we have the finished joint. Nice tight joint lines. Perfect for the corner of face frames. The bridle joint, or open mortise and tenon. Give it a go.